Yo, what's up? Are you, you popping? Look at you. You got the the glistening. Is that a filter or that's you? It's a filter. Right? Oh, I was going to say, you got the little sparkles in that. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. How you doing, though? I'm good. Can't complain. You living? Yeah, we were just sitting here. I was listening to some of your music so people could kind of get a vibe for you, feel who you are, who they, like people who might not know. You know what I'm saying? It's because you're on base out of Jersey. You're out of Miami. Yeah. So I'm for my audience up here to just kind of see what you got going on down there. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so talk to me. What's up? You want to give like a little background for, again, like I said, the people who might not know from up here? My name is Tanir. I'm a singer, songwriter, recording artist out of Miami, Florida. And right now I'm signed to Slip Inside Records out of Miami as well. And I just put out my latest single, Special Attention. Which I love. Thank you. The song's amazing. It got like that classic R&B song, uh, R&B sound. And Thanks. the video is crazy. How did you feel doing that? Were you comfortable? Like, it was sexual, but it wasn't. It was still, like, kind of had, like, a nice vibe to it. Uh-huh. Honestly, for me, at first, going into it, that was the first video I've ever been, like, nervous about. Because, mm. like, it was very – it's completely different from everything that I've done in the past. So I definitely had to get my mind right for it. But getting on set and just getting into it and just getting into my song, just kind of let that go away. And it was yeah. fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, nah, it definitely came out dope. And as I was listening to it, the people around me were like, they kind of got the vibe. I don't know if you remember a song by Burr Simmons called Boo Thing with Kelly Rowland. Uh-huh. So a lot of people were saying, like, it kind of had, like, that vibe. They're like, they were wondering if that song inspired you or if it just happened to be random. I kept seeing people comment that. I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I literally was sitting around people, and they were saying it, too. Like, you know wow. saying? So, yeah. So then it had, there was no relation. It just happened to get people that, like, it just happened, and I'm not mad at that at all. No, you can't be. Compared to Rick Kelly Rowland and Bert Simmons, not a bad comparison right there. How did that song come about, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? What were you feeling at the time? Was it just something, so, you know what I'm saying, you put together? Um, a lot of the times, I feel like a lot of my music really just happens in conversation, where I'm just mm. in the studio with a group of people, and we just talk about different things that are going on in my life, and we write about it. And a lot of different times, like, it could start off as a joke and then just turn into something amazing. And that's pretty much, like, with special attention. I was getting into my, you know, little relationship drama. Uh -oh. You weren't getting special attention or you were getting it? Getting? Wait, wait, what? I said you weren't getting the special attention, so you were venting or you were getting, on it, getting it and just talking definitely. about it? <laughs> it was definitely a vent session for uh -oh. sure. Uh-oh. How are you not getting your special attention? That's crazy. Man, 2020, guys of my generation, they're special. They're a little special. No no shade, but they're a little special. Oh, okay. I mean, they would know. We wouldn't, so it's all good over here. <laughs> and you in Miami, you live your best life, so they got to give you the attention, or I'm sure you'd be living out there doing what you got to do. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Trust. Yeah, and then you dropped, the other, right? you dropped the, like, a Black Lives Matter song early in the year, too. Free? free? Yes, free. So to go from like a song like that, to like this, you know what I'm saying? So what was the importance of dropping that song for you? For me, that song was actually a song I recorded for like a while ago. And I remember I was just in a place where like everything was going on in the world. And my team brought it up to me and they were like, what do you think about dropping this single? Mm. And for a minute, it was like, I was standoffish about it. But then I just thought about what the song did for me. That came from a place of just like trying to get out of like, a toxic situation and like wanting to just free myself and like feel free and with everything going on I thought about it and I felt like it was a great time to spread that song so people can feel that empowerment and just feel like freedom from it and just get a good mm -hmm. just keep going throughout all the craziness going on in the world so I was happy to be able to do that yo this shit has been crazy but you in the wild wild west you in Florida you guys been doing whatever you want while we've been on lockdown but how has, like, this coronavirus, like, impacted you this, throughout this year? Honestly, at first, it was a little crazy. I didn't know what was going to go on because I just put out my single, Come See Me. I was like, how the heck am I going to market this song? I can't go see people. I can't go see Yo, them. yeah. I was freaking out for a minute, but then I just had to stop and, like, tell myself to just embrace the situation we're in. And it was a time I was able to connect with, like, my followers and my supporters more online. And I sat in my room and I did a little quarantine video for my song. That was fun. I got to learn how to record myself and edit. That's something I never oh, wow. did before. And, um, 
yeah, I learned a lot of things over the time. So I've been embracing it and I'm happy we were able to take this time to like have a little break and like focus on things that really matter or just elevate ourselves. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, facts. And yeah, come see me that, yeah, that didn't work this year. Unless it was like on FaceTime. Again, for us up here in Florida, y'all been doing whatever you want. So I can't speak about what y'all doing. <laughs> y'all might still be seeing each other. I mean, you, you could quarantine with somebody. Can we say that? Yeah, and you trust them. Yeah. <laughs> they got to do that little test first, right? The little COVID test. You're right. But it has, like, this year, again, back to this year, like, are, are we going to see a reflection of it in your music going forward? Because, like, the experiences you face, because obviously this year has been just so crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I definitely think you guys will see a reflection of it. I feel like I've changed a lot over these few months, and I've really been in a better place with myself and, like, in a more clear space of what I want for myself and for my career. So I'm excited to see all that comes about with this. There's been so many different changes and I know it's going to be great. Definitely better changes, changes for the better. Not facts, but despite all this, you still were like, it looks like you had a successful year as far as the number goes that I could see. <laughs> and it sounds like you had some growth on your end. Like even back to special attention, it was number one on the new and hot R&B uh, and soul on SoundCloud. Okay. So even to get like that recognition, I'm sure is, crazy honestly hearing that one because it just came out and it was like doing really good and that for me that was the first time a record ever did so good really fast for me so i'm just so grateful like you said it's over quarantine there's so much going on and just having people really support me it just means the most it really does yeah and i'm sure it's just dope to be able to go around your town and see people bumping your music or i'm sure like your girlfriends or even guys be like oh Yo, your music really impacted me Yes, honestly, that, and that for me is the best part because I feel like at the end of the day, I'm doing my job. I want people to be able to relate to everything that I put out. I feel like that's why I do music. Music is a way to just like heal yourself. And when people are like, oh yeah, that song made me get through this situation or I felt this song and it made me just feel some type of way, that makes me feel so good. Yeah, I just saw Deja say her videos go crazy because we were watching your video for Dollar Signs early and we were just like, amazed at how that whole video came together. Like. It was just like the vibe from like the gold beads and the candles all over and you're in the tub. Like your videos are really like, like you pull it off. You know what I'm saying? It's something I feel is a little different and just like, they're like, like glam, but like they're glamorous and like loud, but they're not and they're subtle. And just like your whole vibe is just like really dope and it matches the music so well. Thank you so much. Honestly, when it comes to my videos, I'm really big on like trying to get the vision that I want. So I'm so happy when it turns out to be exactly what I've envisioned and the people I work with, like Damien, I've been working with him for a long time. He's been directing my videos for years now, and mm. we're like a team for sure. Yeah, and, and I'm from Jersey, so I saw you did a song with Fetty Wap. Yes, Love Me or Leave Me. <laughs> yeah, like how was it like working with him, or was it a situation where they sent you a verse? They sent me a verse. I didn't actually get to be with him in the studio, but just having him on my record in general, like, that feels amazing. I really appreciated the fact that he did that for me. Yeah, and, and like you're saying, obviously you're on Slip and Slide, and it's, your music's a little different, right? You, you're saying you yeah. trick daddy music, you definitely not plies. No. <laughs> but how does it feel to like, be in the same room with these people who have like that history and that background, like that legendary, you're know, saying, touch on hip hop? At first it was like nerve wracking because like you said, like these people have created Slip and Slide's name, so they're strictly hip hop and they got their own sound going on. And then I'm coming in doing something completely different. But I appreciated that um, position to be able to start a new lane in the, um, in the label. And um, just being able to do that is amazing. I feel like every new artist on the label right now, we all have like our own different lanes and we're just taking over and like doing our own thing. And I love to see it. Yeah, and how did that even come about? Was it just cause you're from Miami or you like, like you were just like this, like they found you because I know you were doing cover videos, right? Yeah, I was pretty much word of mouth. Like people just kept telling Ted to come to hear me sing, come hear me sing. With me being young, I believe I was probably like 14 or almost 14 at the time. And um, it was constantly just people telling him to come see me. He doesn't hear, he doesn't want to hear somebody come sing. He hears that all the time, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I remember one time, it ended up being a conversation after he did get to hear me sing about me just taking it seriously. And um, that's when I started doing my covers on YouTube, putting myself out more, putting myself out there more just to like show that this is something I really wanted to do. 
they had me in the studio like recording demos for people all the time just to put me in that space of like career you know what i mean yeah um i enjoyed that for a minute but then it got to a point where i was with a producer in there and he saw like this is not what you want to do he was yeah. like let's, see, let's write to it and i freaked out for a moment but we sat there and we wrote and that actually ended up becoming my first single friday night featuring sage of yeah, yeah, that's how I saw that. Like, how dope is it going to be that now you'll see people doing covers of your music? It's like the full, like, 360. It's crazy. When they do covers, the dance videos, I'm like, this is crazy. Because it takes a lot of time for you to do that. So for them to take that time out to just support me, it just, it means yeah. so much. <laughs> and it's just cool. Like I said, it's like a 360 because that's how, like, you were doing it. And you kind of got your way in. And now it's like, you're at a point now that you're, like, the star. And people want to be like, let me cover her. I'll try my best version of it and try to get her attention. It's so crazy. I appreciate it so much. How how do you stay like close to your fans despite like rising and obviously you have a lot going on. You're saying it's I assume it's a lot harder than it was when you were coming up. Yeah. I feel like now I just I try to respond as much as I can. DMs, like I love how they did the whole thing. So now I can figure out like how who who's the weird people and who's not and like the people that support me like a hundred percent. And I try to just talk to them and engage with them and stuff like that. And like doing different contests and stuff, that is honestly a way to get in contact and like closer to them as well because you get to see your true supporters, you know what I mean? All right, wait, so you're running a contest right now or is this something you did in the past? In the past for Come See Me, we did um, a dance challenge and we got so many videos, it was unbelievable. But that was a great way over quarantine for me to reach out, not for me to reach out to people, but for me to get in contact with people that really support my music. And yeah, and getting on lives too, that's mm. exciting to be able to interact with them as well. You'll be doing like lives on your own? Like you just go on there and talk to people or? Yeah, there was a moment where I was doing lives every single day at the beginning of quarantine. <laughs> it was okay. like, yeah, <laughs> but I was doing a few things. Like I worked out with them, I cooked with them. Oh, wow. Cool. You worked out with them? Like, were you like, just, were you just working out and let them watch you? Or were you like, okay, we're going to do like 10 sit-ups now and like, da, da, da. Well, I was working out, but I like told them what I was doing so that mm. they could do it with me. But That's yeah. Dope. Yeah, it was cool. This was your idea or like, it was like a team thing? It was like, hey, let them into your world? It was a team thing for sure. Because I'm like weird with live sometimes. I'm like, I don't know who's watching me. I can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> but I got <laughs> that and I was able to engage with them it got better yeah but I guess like I, I kind of go what you're saying too it's like yeah but quarantine's like okay cool I gotta do it because like you said you don't know who's just sitting there watching like yeah. it's like when you think about it right it's like someone's just watching me like kind of <laughs> yeah. creepy like you know in a past tense but obviously now we're in a different era of stuff but so I could get how like the comfortability of doing it like had took some time exactly you know, you know what I'm saying so that shit is just crazy so what can like people expect going forward from you just more music, more content. I've been working on so much and I'm ready for everyone to hear it. There's so much, there's so much coming. Like, like you got an album coming? Is it going to be a next single? There's definitely going to be a next single for sure. I'm pushing for the album because the album's technically ready. But mm, So what, what's up? What's holding it back? Where you at? We're just trying to figure some things out. But Can it's we leak it? What's up? Huh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, the people want to hear it. Like, I'm sure you got every day. I'm sure you got your fans. Like, yo, I know. Up? we waiting. I know, man. I really want to put it out soon. Hopefully, it's 2021. 2020. Mm. Like, did that take you some time to adjust to from going, like, an independent artist when you could just drop it when you wanted to to now being a label situation where it's more of, like, okay, we got to plan around it. We got to choose the right time. There's certain things we got to get through. Well, I feel like I came into it already from – a label's perspective because like before I was really just doing covers I wasn't putting out my own music so it's always been very structured and I appreciate that because like sometimes you don't take the time to really think about every single step of the process but there are times where I'm like I just want to put this out but I honestly respect everything about my team because there's things over this quarantine that I never thought we would get done and I wouldn't have gotten it done without them for sure not facts and like you haven't even built to perform right or I, again i don't know maybe you are performing down there like well i 
At the beginning of the year, I did for Superfest for Super Bowl at the very beginning before shutdown. But then throughout quarantine, when it first started, um, there was like live performances that I did. Those are cool, but it's not the same. Oh, IG Live. Yeah, IG Live or like um, just different. They would do like Zoom or YouTube Lives. Yeah. yeah. So How were you able to like maintain the energy? Because like, you know, when you're in person, you got people like cheering and you can see their faces. Like this is just like you're like looking at a camera like I doing know. dance moves. Honestly, the energy had to come from like I have a band, the right sounds. They work with me as well whenever I do those. So we we help each other with the energy. That was okay. But it's not the same as like being in front of a crowd, you know. Yeah, nah, yeah. So so is there a title to the album? I don't wanna say anything too much yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta make me go on my Google search, the YouTube. You know, we, gotta, we gotta find you. Like I said, it's done. Like the records are done, but I don't know if anything's gonna change. So I don't. Is there a particular sound across the album? Is it a little bit of different types of you? I feel like Is it's theme? more of an R and B vibe for sure, right now, and um, it could change because, like I said, I've been working on so much recently, so I could be changing things out. But there is technically an album ready. Is there like who's is there people featured on it that we can there, know about? Do we got do we got you and Flies? I love Flies. So is it, oh my, you and Fly song? I honestly never thought about that. And that's crazy for me to say, but I have never thought about that. Yeah, but Flies does R and B. Like he does it a little bit different. Like <laughs> he says certain things that are a little different, but he got an R and B track. Hey man, you never know. It could happen. Did it happen and you're just not telling us? Because I feel like you're holding back. No. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I know, I know you can't. <laughs> I know you can't. <laughs> but uh, do you have, like, a final message or anything you want the people to know? Um, just thank you. Thank you for having me on here and supporting me and everyone else that's watching. Thank you for sort of supporting me if you have been. And if you haven't, go support my new single, Special Attention, and all my other ones. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay safe. That's dope. I appreciate you. And we're going to continue to give you your special attention. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night, you're saying? If you want to you know, DM me the album early, that's awesome. <laughs> but if not, you know, I'll wait with the rest of us. But I definitely do appreciate your time. And I wish you, like, much success, especially as we go into this end of year in a couple of days. So just stay safe and keep us in tune. So, you know, we can see what you got going on. Thank you. Happy New Year. You too. I'm going to talk to you later. Bye. Bye.